This is what bad anime decisions does to you. We just have like giant ass ami ami boxes in the middle of the room. I have no space to like sit. Okay, welcome to our end of year room tour for 2022. Quite a lot of things changed since our last time we did our previous one. So keep an eye out for like what's different and what's new. So our room is pretty much like an L and over here we're in the, the inner corner of an L. So at the top we have these shadow boxes. And this collection of like little live keychains and stuff. No, they're the official ones from uh, the comic cat that got cancelled right before COVID. Damn. And a few of life thingies from the Baron Cons. Those are some prize figures of the Konosubas. Random Kankore. And Baron Lions from Super Robot Wars. And those are Kotobukiya kits, so, and they were pretty horrible. <laughs> they're really old Kotobukiya ones. A random Mega Bean hat that Fuyu made and now continued making the rest of it. And a bunch of stuff in the rainbow shells that for cosplay that we pretty much never use. I use it. You haven't touched it in like years. And let's open this up to make it easier to see. And okay, we got this E3 Megumin that we were planning on making reviews like a long time ago and never did. We'll get to it. But yeah, at the time it was the most expensive Megumin figure. There's probably more expensive ones out by now. I got Chisulu. Oh, and the little- I just call it the Fubuki if it's like Akmode thing. Oh, I forgot they had this Overwatch and Android. That was, this was before the whole like fuck, fuck Blizzard thing happened. It was in a different location last time we shot this. And Nanohas, I think this shelf's mostly the same, except for like with Lena added. Yeah, I mean, we kind of had to put random small items everywhere. Yeah, oh, and more fate. Oh, Hibiki got moved here. Yeah. What? And Nasulu Ai, oh, her, uh... I guess her hat fell off at some point. Oh, she had a hat? Oh. No. It's probably because us bumping into it or something, or rearranging the shelf. Maybe. Oh god, oh, why does it not fit? Maybe just put it on the front for now, and we'll mess with it later. Yeah. One of the Hidaka Arena lollies. Oh, and the desktop army thing. That was a pain to build. And a bunch of my various gun plot and stuff. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's like... Entry great Gundam, 7 bucks, I uh, just use like a test bed for practicing things on. Okay, let's close this. Oh, and this is where we started off at the beginning of the video last time, so we still have the ridiculously over-featured audio mixer thing that Fuyu has and never uses. I use it sometimes. Sometimes. You, you, and like, look, you, like, you only have like one XOR plug into it, even out of like a bajillion. Yeah, but what if I need six? You ne you're never gonna need six! Maybe. Maybe we'll need six. And this is our staging area for all the like Dior Mansion stuff right now. I think this is all the ones we have currently, but I'm pretty sure we have some more on the way. Yeah. We need to find them with a better solution for storing these, but this is just temporary. And a bunch of like stands and different like Diroma Dur style model kits, so we have those yeah, this gaming is my, chairs. This is my to be done stuff. Which is a lot. Yeah, and vending machines and the the grills and food and stuff that we had like a long time ago. Yep. And I think this was here last time. What? I think so, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's one of those like card holder things, mostly Shante from the box set thing that we had. A, we had an unboxing video of that, like one of the like 400 bucks, and you still haven't played any of those games yet. Yeah. We was a mistake. And, oh, I'm Yami Kandar. Mostly Precure and a few like just random mini ones that happen to fit in there too. Yep. And random feather I found on my walk. <laughs> and the uni poster that finally got centered. I think we, we was here last time, but last time was like jank and like all off cuter. Yeah, this one we got, or uh, yeah, yeah, we, we got from Tower Records, I believe. It was a bonus for the CD. And mm. then we had to get that through Baiyi. And I you didn't, th I don't think you actually like use the CD at all yet. Well, I don't want, like, I have, I just listen to it on, like, YouTube music. Yeah. And I think we got that little flat thing at a con. You can tell from, like, the black bars on top because American manufacturers of Wall Scrolls have, like, caught up to, like, you know, doing it stuff that way. Yep. Like that. And then full use computer. Yep. Yeah. It's full of bling, as usual. The 3090? 3090. Oh, yeah. And, uh, man, the, the, like, the royal r RGB RAM. Like, what, yeah, the, what the fuck? 64 gigs. Meanwhile, I'm just, I'm just sitting on 16 gigs. God damn it. Yeah. Oh yeah, 5952. The server for storing all our media stuff for our videos. Oh yeah, that we have that thing from back when I was like doing like Levia Shadow thing. I need to get rid of that. Levia's dead. 
Oh my god. <laughs> And USA Tour, this is the ANYC 2019 thing, I believe. And we have my triple monitor set up. Although this one's like a really like shitty screen. 4K monitor, 30, 30 inches. Although it's a low frame rate one, that's mostly just for like video editing. Because you need a lot for like UI space. And, oh, little base lard. Oh yeah, this is like video editing, like macro thingy. Oh yeah, yeah, the speed editor. Yeah. And, yeah, just a random frame arms grow Durga over here. And get this like shitty chair out of the way. <laughs> this is our 3D printing station. Or one of our 3D printing stations. Uh, we'll see. So, we have a resin printer that we barely ever use because we don't have a separate room and it's pretty toxic and stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with it or how we're gonna use it. Yeah, and then like other like equipment. I think there's like some gunpla equipment down there too. Yeah, yeah. And just, just random like cases and stuff for modern things. But yeah, this is like a UV curing thing for the resin printer. Yep. And this is what bad anime decisions does to you. We just have like giant ass ami ami boxes in the middle of the room. Yeah, so there's just four right here. And like I have no space to like sit because of this. Actually, there's there's more boxes in this room. This is my like parts organizer for whatever kit I'm building at the time. This is the the other like, equipment for base lard that I didn't finish yet. And those are oh those are already open boxes. But yeah, these boxes they still have stuff in them. We just don't have space for it. Yeah. So we just end up like sticking it all in a box and like move it out the way. So yeah, a lot of stuff that like showed up on like previous haul unboxings are still in here. Unopened. Yeah. I think the top two the top two boxes are things that haven't been opened yet, and then the top the bottom two boxes are Are, are just empty boxes? Yeah, they're like empty figure boxes like this, like man, because like we don't wanna throw it away, but we don't really know what to do with it either, so we they're just yeah. taking out space. I feel like we we might not have a choice but to throw some stuff away though. Probably at some point. And this corner of the room, so we have this little filament printer. This was supposed to be my gunpla building station, but then like this printer came in and we didn't have a space for it, so it just got overtaken by that. Yeah. But yeah, it's a like, bunch of like miscellaneous equipment, tools and stuff that I haven't been using as much as I should be. And then bookshelves, and let me, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Yeah, we have so much junk, like everything is in everything's way. Yeah, and that's my like junkyard of like random ass shit. Random ass trash things that like maybe can we re repurpose for like model kit stuff, maybe, one day. And a whole bunch of games and... I don't know. A lot of special editions on the top. Yeah. Or other like bonuses and stuff. Most of these we haven't played. We haven't played that, we haven't played that, we haven't played all those like Shantae shit. Games aren't for playing. <laughs> yeah. And we have three bookshelves and these are double stacked too so I double stack them to like the later volumes are in front, so I can tell like what what's the, like the latest one I have when I buy more, and then the the previous volumes are like right behind at the same part, so I arrange it this way so that I know like what's on, what's in the second row behind it. Well, I believe some of the stuff is separated though as we add, buy more, so it probably needs to be rearranged. Yeah. Well, I mean, as you can tell, some of these like really big books are just kind of awkwardly stacked on top of the. Like novels and manga. <laughs> yeah. And not like model kit sorting thing, and just. Also, like when I finish building model kits, since I don't have space for them, they just kind of randomly get stuck in here. And then, oh, box like miscellaneous, like keychains and acrylic stands, and different con things, I guess. Oh, and style it. Oh, this is my box of like cut, cut plan instruction booklets and different. And like when I cut up the boxes to, to, with like the picture parts to use as decorations. And then we have other like in progress stuff, maybe. Kind of in progress stuff, and or stuff that I haven't built yet. So we have this maple loop. and different things, dramas, more light novels, oh yeah, and just this random shelf got overtaken by model by things that like we don't know where to put. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, there was actually more here, but then we had to rearrange stuff to make more space. Yeah. And my reading chair that often gets too dusty for me to use. I'm gonna pull that back real quick. Yeah. And then I have, I have on a game muscle equipment, so we don't have much, just like a, just a few dumbbells, so I can't really do much workout stuff at home. Want to buy more equipment, but like since we keep buying too many enemy figures, we can't afford anything else. Yep, it's terrible. And some sort of love life box set stuff. Oh yeah, my my collection. Although I'm missing like the several at this point. 
And we have a bunch of like the older like PlayStation games behind that we pretty much never use, I guess. And this is my tower of built model kits. So you can kind of well, it's kind of hard to see from the side, but they're kind of but they're sorted in there and like organized together. Oh yeah, and, and these like Tupperware boxes, I don't even know why they're like equipped, why they're separate like this. But oh yeah, that one's a broken figure that you have to fix up at some point. It's just a prize figure, so like not too bad, I guess. Oh, that's like 3D print, printing filament. Yeah, things. we have a ton of filament we're gonna use for stuff. So yeah, we don't have much room, so we just like put random stuff there, and that's in front of this shelf. Top of the shelf, we have some precure things. Oh, yeah. that one's like really old, that sweet precure one. I yeah, so we have some uh, transformation stuff up there, basically. I bought that one since like 2012, 2013, something like that. And then some stuff we bought at Con. Oh, this is a Thai thing, souvenir thing. F F F that FGO. What are the thing was called? I was called. Oh, and just random like Avengers shit. Oh yeah, that was from when we saw was it Infinity War or Endgame? Endgame. Yeah. And a signed co copy of Jam Project CD. Let's open up this detail. Oh yeah, I, I actually got this in Japan, I believe. Oh. So mostly love life stuff, and then we have like random Lily. Yeah, I think we just threw her there because at the time we didn't have another spot. We bought that in the Nintendo store at, well, the day before ANYC 2019. Yeah, we were just kind of walking around and decided to go there. Yeah, and like Con didn't even start and we already like, bought figures. Yeah, it's terrible. And more of life stuff, they're mostly like like the cheap figures, so probably have to like, take them out at some yeah, point. We don't actually have very, oh, I don't think we have any premium love lives, like at all. And then we also have Pudu Powder up there too. Yeah, oh, yeah we're missing Lala though. Yeah. And just some random idol things, so Idol Master. Yeah, mainly Idol Master. Some random persona in there too. My Yui from K On. Yeah. Oh, Megri Luka, which was my first like anime figure thingy. A bunch of pre cures. Yeah, I the pre cure shelf. I forgot about this since like it's behind things most of the time that we don't see. I think these are mostly yours. Yeah. Or at least, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, most of these I got from college. Somehow I managed to keep. And but for doorway, we have Love Life Sunshine ones, I think. Oh yeah, that's like yeah, yeah. the first year, second year, third year box. I think we got those at like Sakura Matsuri. Yeah, yeah, because they had a random stall and then decided to get them. Yeah. So they have a lot of random junk. I don't even know what's like what's up there, but I guess it's some wall scroll. Well, there's some wall scrolls on top, but the, the contents of the boxes are actually different. Yeah. Some of them have extra parts for stuff. The the middle red one, Yeah. it has a bunch of uh, Ami Ami stuff. It, it, it requires its own box. Yeah. We sent yeah. too much. Yeah. And a bunch of like con badges from previous years. Oh, and then this giant Sakura figure that we still haven't opened after like so many years because we don't have any... We don't have any shelf that's like big enough for her. Wait, yeah we do. Well, I guess we do now, but we don't have space anymore. Yeah, so it's probably just better to keep her in the box. You know how... Wait, go, go back to the, the box. You know how long we've had her? Yeah, oh, yeah. Sh let's show them. <laughs> Like the, the the color in the box faded from like being supposed to light. Yeah, I think the figure itself is probably fine. Yeah, but yeah, like that's pretty bad. Like we didn't realize this hap this happened because it happened over time, and then like one day like this thing like fell off, and we're like, holy shit. Yeah, those other boxes are the same way. Like it's dark. It's the like original color underneath. So we have like a detolf and then TV stuff in the middle, and then more shelves over there. But let's open up this one. So this shelf used to be the Toho Alice shelf, yeah, the, and now it's got overtaken by a bunch of B VTuber stuff. Yeah, well she's still there, she's just in a different spot. Yeah. And all these like Fuyu VTubers. This is in, this is like a tiny fragment of like Fuyu stupid VTuber shrine thing. Oh my god, fuck this bitch. And down here, so Alice got evicted I guess, down here, to share the space with Elf, so it's not the it's not a pure Elf shelf anymore. Yeah, it used to be only Elf. Yeah. Yamada yeah, Elifu. She's like the only good thing to come out of that show. Oh my god. And random assorted things. Well, I guess this is mostly the video game section. It, it, yeah, that's how it's themed. Uh, probably had to rearrange everything because like we have the Melia right there. Yeah. Um, Melia premium figure and then an Android Flander, but the rest are all like... Well, the ones in the back are all prize figures. Oh yeah, that, that Kaga, I won it from like an actual like crane game machine in, in Japan, so like that one has a lot of sentimental value for me. And this thing's from the... The special edition. Tales of Arise. Yeah, that we still haven't played yet. But no, mean, no PS5. No, we have it on PS4. I told technically. You that. No, it's not technically, it's not downloaded and installed. Yeah. Oh, and then signed pen lights. 
Uh-huh. From, oh, that's like the... From the 2019... 2019 Otakon. Yeah. So like the last concert we went to. No, 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 it wasn't. It was ANYC. Oh, right, I forgot Probably we... Kiss. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Or Stellantis. Yeah. And then we have Pim Figure Tarja with like that ass. I forgot we had that one since like it's in the back. Yeah, I definitely want to rearrange some stuff because like the other Fire Emblem stuff is separated now. And above our TV, we have th this thing. It's actually meant to be for like a baseball rack kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a baseball rack. So we have acrylic stands on top. Acrylic pictures, like, I don't know. What it's... Well, they're, they're still acrylic stands. Yeah. And we use this for like Nendoroid, so we have a bunch of like... Oh god, it's all Hololive! Yeah, yeah, I rearranged this. Oh my, we have so many Hololives! This isn't even all of them yet. Yeah. And just suddenly Pulipara. Yeah, they're probably gonna get evicted too, because <laughs> I know we're getting more... Yeah. You need to stop buying so many whole lives. And then our TV. TV with random stuff in front. Our flight oh. stick. <laughs> Ra random bang beam keychain. Yeah, I mean, it's to separate our different, like, Pokeball Plus. Or is it Pokeball Plus? I don't know what it's called. I haven't used it in forever. And we have limited edition, like, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, Switch. And we have this Narrative Gundam Apex kit. You got that at GameStop, I think. Yeah. Is it dusty? It might be dusty. I think you... You detested it before this, I think. Oh wait, no, it's still dusty. Yeah, it's still dusty. I, I don't want to like mess it up. Oh, I, I just I did what I could. Yeah, and this random Serakio Gundam, I think. I can't remember what it's called. It's from one of those like side build fire things that never got animated. And in front of the TV, you have more like unopened figures. You probably recognize some of these from like recent hauls. Yeah, these should be from the past few ones, which should already be up on the channel. Yeah. And below the TV, we have some like act like actual anime, anime like the actual like DVDs, Blu-ray things. Yeah, mixed in with some other junk. Yeah. So yeah, there's my my Sora. Oh, my Sui Save concert that I haven't watched yet. Yeah. yeah. The Sora like album or something. Yep. It's a like we got the acrylic thing that uh, that we showed off earlier with it. Yeah. And I don't know how and oh yeah, some like really old like just random DVDs as we have from like. I don't know why we have some of those. Oh yeah, but... Star Wars is my favorite anime. <laughs> Star Wars is so fucking weeb. Like, that thing's like weeb as shit. Well, yeah, obviously. And to the right side of the TV, we got some Ilya thingies. And on top, we have this acrylic case with like Nendroids. Well, mostly Nendroids and other... Well, I guess it's all the small figures. Yeah. It's kind of expensive if you buy it at full price. Yeah, but Michaels always has stuff on sale. No, they don't. Not anymore. Oh yeah. And some random Anya thingies. That are like overpriced and not worth it. <laughs> Maybe the video will be up by the time this one is up. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. We're working on it. Oh, my custom Gabo Gundam. This is from 2011. 2011 summer when I built that. And you can, you can see a lot of like jankness on it. And let's open this up. We have Delicia and Androids and Delicia figure. And we have Mona. A bunch of Ryza stuff in the book behind. Yeah. We're getting more Ryza stuff, we're probably gonna kick them out to make a Ryza shelf. Yeah, we have like so many Ryza things ordered. And then, down here we have some Milims. Yep. Oh, yeah. I guess this is the, this is the Isekai shelf. Oh, not, not Isekai. Well, well, this one's not Isekai. I, I mean, when I rearranged it, I vaguely tried to group them up by theme, but like, some of them you just have to like, make space for, you know. Yeah, but yeah, apart from Siesta, this is all like Isekai. Like Saints Magic Power's own opponent, that Mamako thing. The Bakalina thing, Konosuba, Slime, Infinite Dendrogram, Shield Hero, Not I mean, Infinite Dendrogram is like, it's like a MMO, but he... That's a different thing. It still counts as Isekai though, by genre. Oh, also, if no, it, it does. <laughs> oh, also, Infinite Dendrogram, it gets more Isekai than you would think. What? Okay. It gets more, it gets more Isekai than you would think. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything like else because like, the whole world is kind of the mystery of it, but yeah. Oh, and I guess some fate stuff. Yeah. With the Yui, random Yui in front. She's too big. She's too big to, big to fit on the Isekai shelf. Although, Fate Go is also Isekai. Oh my god. Literally. What's the he made prize speaker? And we have more kids. Well, I guess we have a, the Mecha Girls here too. So we have Sumi, Sumika Figma and Marita Cruz. And not a bunch of like model kits. Some of my custom stuff, well, not the Sue Terminator, that one's like still basic, but the other ones are like painted and things. They're really old though. So we have, we'll, we'll go to the shelf once we move this stuff. And next to that detail, we have this Millstable case of Mikea. 
not, ma not many people seem to use mill balls, so I guess it's quite like this line in the middle is like, kind of annoying. But it's pretty like space efficient. Yep. And on top we have like I can't briefly saw these like light box thingies, like the base lights up if you plug it in. Yeah, I forgot what they're called, but I mean they're not available anyway as far as I know. Yes, yeah, such, such a waste. So we have some umus and some Iowas. Yep. These are pretty nice, like the Neon Automata, like music boxes. We have a video from way back. It's not it's very low quality compared to now, I hope. Yeah. Let's open this up. So yeah, ignore those lights. Um I'm gonna get to them. Eventually. You said that like seven years ago. We didn't have them seven years. Oh, actually, we might. We had the light seven years ago that you were supposed to put on a detail, but you never did. And then you brought them to a mills bowl, but you never put it on either. I guess that's technically true. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay, so we have a bunch of fates. So we have Ilias. The Ilias used to all be together, but now like they have to be separated because we just have too many Ilias stuff. Yeah. Janu. That's all one of like the really big figures I like. Oh yeah, the fate anniversary from like last year. Yeah, end of last year, I believe. We were supposed to do a video of it, and never did. We can still do a video on it. Yeah. And Passion Lip, she just wants to give you a hug. And Jaku. And then another Fate Shelf, because we have like so many Fate thingings. Yeah. All, all those different sabers. We have Musashi and Mordred. Oh yeah, we have more Ilias. More Ilias. More Jax. Oh, like, the like, Petit Wrist model kits. Don't, for don't forget about Lavinia. And Abby. Yeah. Those are really nice figures. They're some of my favorite fates. Yeah. And, oh, even more fates. With yeah. some other stuff mixed in. So, we, oh yeah, I guess it's kind of like the beach collection. Yeah, yeah. I, I put, I tried to put all the beach stuff together for the fates. Yeah. So Martha. Yeah, there's like du double BB. We're gonna have more double BB eventually. Yeah, pale BB, better BB. Oh my god, no, ten BB. Uh, and just randomly like, where's where's the Figma Pecorina here? Oh, because we I was using her to film recently. Uh. I kind of need her, like in the vicinity. Oh yeah, the Ilya like hair scrunchie. I kind of want to use it, but like I'm also afraid of like using it. And just random beach Nakatoro. Yeah, I don't know where. I'll, I'll find a spot for her. Oh, this shelf! I'm really proud of my arrangement. Oh man, this entire moose bowl is like almost entirely fate. Well, yeah, I told you I was like. It was originally, but then I had to make room for like those other ones somehow. Yeah. So one of the racing Neros, I think we have more racing Neros. Yeah, yeah we have the racing Nero Tamamo that's in that box that we didn't open. Oh yeah. We have Melt and Android, and then we have the giant Passion Lip and, and Melt figures. I think the scales of them are different, right? Or were they the same? I think they're the same, actually. Oh. Or no, actually, uh, we have to, it might, I think one eight. Yeah, most one eights, and I think Passion Lips one sevens. Although, like when they're side, you, you can't really tell that they're, they're different scales very yeah. much. But yeah, and then the Ilya concert ones that we have reviews up. Oh, oh yeah, oh, the like, Grow doesn't. Oh yeah, Grow doesn't. And also, like the Ilya vi review video was like really old, so low quality. Like I was still shooting on my smartphone at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. We, I don't think we had the cameras. Yeah, and Winter Umu. We to put up the snow Winter Umu footage. Yeah, that one I'm very proud of. And over here we have our like combined filming station slash storage station slash whatever the hell station. Yeah. So on top we have a bunch of like stuff we hoard, like the for cosplay props, but cons have been cancelled for a while. Yeah, so we have a bunch of the thermal plastic up there, foam stuff, various other random crap. Yeah. Oh yeah, a bunch of like Starbucks cups because okay, get this, like you know at the end of the year when they have like colorful Starbucks cups, they just throw out like all the old like white cups so because they don't have space to store it in the, in the Store. That's so stupid. Yeah, that's so stupid. So I just like I was like, oh fuck it, I'll just take it all home just in case I need it for like paint and stuff. And we have a bunch of like thingies hang hanging. So some Android more stuff, some primitive Ilya acrylic, acrylic thingies, <laughs> and yeah, some more like Figma accessories and stuff. Oh yeah, the Figma style clothing thingies, and a bunch of like unopened things from like literally years ago that we still haven't opened up yet. Should we, should we go through these boxes or it'll probably be too much? Yeah. But yeah. But if you if you watch our previous haul stuff, you'll find some of them. Most of them turn out on previous haul stuff. Although I think some of these they came even before we started doing videos. Well, I mean, probably. Yeah. And on this shelf, we have some rat. Oh yeah, we have our like filming list. Yeah. We have random 3D printers here. Oh yeah, we're trying to sell this CR30 if anyone wants it. Yeah, if you're interested, let us know. 
and then we have this like pretty shitty like like photo boost film boost thing yeah we bought this like pretty early on relative to when we were making videos we have it before we I mean, got the camera oh yeah yeah because we were shooting like from camera i mean from phone from, from, from phone with like the really bad stands that came with yeah and the really bad lights yeah so yeah this thing yeah, it doesn't even like come. Like this is like we we want a like, black foam board. Yeah, black foam board for the walls because it's just like just like thin white walls that are kind of like shitty. Yeah, actually, can you can you like get a shot there? Look at the lines, the jank velcro things. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, so what like this thing doesn't it's like collapses on its own weight, so we had to like do this like jank velcro thing to up to the top. Yeah, so it's being supported by like velcro straps like connected to the top shelf. This is so fucking dumb. Same thing with the foam board, like it's partially for looks, but partially to support the sides. Oh yeah, well, the, the side was class on itself without the foam boards. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. So yeah, we mostly use this for B-roll, B-roll sort of like figures. Slash putting boxes as we open them on halls. Yeah, and this is the the table that you see all the time on haul videos and unboxing videos. This is a pretty good like like cheapo purchase i think yeah it was my idea but well, we should have bought a bigger one yeah and oh sasabi cutting mat i still don't know if i should like actually use this or just like you know keep it to display i want to use it but yeah and i'm gonna pull this back a bit and this is our cart with like oh, camera bags and camera gear and things and then the other cameras down there oh yeah because like, we have like we use like two camera shots yeah so one of them the, the one we're recording on is our camera the other one i'm borrowing and down here we got a bunch of lego stuff that we don't really use anymore like we were into lego for a little bit for a while well i, I would say i'm still into it it's more like you can't really expand it if we're buying other crap <laughs> yeah that's a, that's a, the way i would describe it we have no space for like all these lego things too so we haven't like really built anything else yeah and then a bunch of a whole lot of model kits in my backlog most of these are unbuilt yeah and also like this looks like a lot it's actually like like double no it's actually like triple Tri triple Tri stacked behind yeah there's like it's triple layered boxes of model kits so like different robots different waifus we have we have gundams them, we have stuff i had them sorted at some point but i just gave up yeah i don't sorry, sometimes I, I would like take things out and i'll be like oh i forgot that thing was here uh. <laughs> okay and then most of this thing is it's not really not really important but we have this like step, I mean, I guess it kind of looks like one of those like wine collection thingies. But yeah, they're the. This is just like cardboard. It's cardboard I got, and then this See, is how we store our like mats that we use on videos. Yeah, the, I mean, they're supposed to be like play mats for like card games and stuff. I miss white swords, but we just use them for for like backgrounds and unboxing figures now. Yeah, so random art supplies, random three D printing stuff. Yeah, most of the stuff in this area that's interesting is like buried behind that <laughs> yep but yeah maybe i'll open these figures when someday maybe or we sell them <laughs> uh, and on the other side of that we have these two shadow boxes with the oh i guess that's the mostly the fate collection that's mostly fate yeah actually that that is all fate i believe oh is it oh yeah yeah, yeah it is all fate and it's just miscellaneous things that can't, don't really fit anywhere else it's mainly game stuff i think yeah mostly like, stuff that is bought from like artist Elliot con so it's just kind of a weird assortment yeah also some stuff that like Nekoti gave me. Oh yeah, Nekoti gave me cookies, so I just like kept the boxes. Yeah, I guess all the other boxes are themed or like have a specific series. This is the only one that's just like random crap. And since we have too much stuff, we have to move some stuff to the bedroom. I'm mostly gonna zoom in because there's like ferret shit everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> like damn it, ferrets! Like you double the ferrets, but you quadruple the shits. But yeah, the Legos used to be on the other shelf on our last video, I believe. So they got moved to this like annex area. Yeah. And part of this. And then inside this Kallax, we have a bunch of figures. Well, well mm, empty, of. empty boxes of figures, I guess. Yeah. More Lego stuff. Empty figure boxes and a bunch of our pop-up plates got evicted here. Yep. And so oh, surprise for it. Oh yeah, the, a bunch of like the love like Nijikasakis and then just narrow randomly there. Yeah. So like the the Kallax is actually kind of decent for putting these in, but like as you can kind of tell, it doesn't. It's not the most optimal way to pack them in. And like you need to have some sort of light in front, otherwise you can't see shit. Yeah. And Unless you want to awkwardly hold a light like I am. Yeah. Empty boxes, and we also have like more empty figure boxes in here, but it's because of the ferrets, we have to like put them in these things so they don't wreck it everything. Oh, we push it back before they, they grab it. We have another mills bow. ISS up there with stuff that should be censored. And open the mills bow. 
So top shelf is for stuff that we should that needs to be censored, like very heavily. Well, I'll leave it to your imagination. The Shiro technically doesn't need to be censored. Yeah. And then watch out for you know. Yeah. We have some center blades and preconnes. Oh. Also, be careful of that one. Oh yeah, that one also needs to be censored. Yep. And so we have a few of the preconnes up army, and then this is just the preconnes shelf. Yeah. Uh, although obviously some of them were on that other shelf. Yeah, so these are those Firu figures that we reviewed before on the channel. And we have some other ones too, like, like Nendroids and the New Year's. The Carol. New Year's one we recorded, we still need to work on though. Well, a lot of these we recorded, but need to work on. Yeah. And the bottom shelf, we have the big Bunny Girl Sumika. Yep. Oh yeah, that's Lila from like Risa or Lila. And Hanyu and the Sora doll that we did a review on. Yep. And. We have a pair of witches, so we have Asusa from Killing Slimes and Elena. Our annex area also has full of boxes. Yeah. It's like the empty boxes. Like we We anime was a mistake. We have we don't have space for like anything else. Yeah. Oh wait. Actually sh sh show the right. <laughs> oh yeah. No no no. <laughs> Just like random Amiami boxes. More Amiami boxes. Yeah. 